<laughs> Have you seen that kitty from, uh, what's his name, no, Lewis Cubal? He's the kid that the BBC are giving his own chat show to. And he's, uh, he's got Tourette's. <laughs> this is just, that's the Irish boy, the Northern yeah, Irish yeah. boy. Yeah, yeah. Fucking hilarious. He's a legend. Do you see Have you, you tried to, yeah. to recite three blind mice? Did Have you, you see that? Did you see, did you see him going through uh, Belfast Airport? No. With him shouting, I'm a member of the IRA, I've got a bomb, I've got a bomb. And then when he's on the plane, he's going, I've got a grenade, I've got a grenade. <laughs> I think I've seen that, fucking amazing. But he tries to recite three blind mice and he's like, three black cons, fucking cons. <laughs> yeah. And then he's, he's uh, interviewing, he's interviewing the band, the Vamps. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, so have you got any uh, good stories from when you're on the road, you know, like from when you're on the road, and they said, well, there's this one funny, and then he goes, gang bang, <laughs> fucking gang bang. <laughs> and then they, they say, he said, I, I hear you started a new label, um, a record label, was, was tell us the story behind that. And they said, well, you know, we really want to support new, new acts that are coming through. And, uh, you know, there's this new band that have just, that are really hot called the whatever they're called. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've been supporting us on tour, and he goes, Wankers! <laughs> <laughs> There's this big fat dude who's got like a prime time Saturday night TV show on the BBC in Northern Ireland. And he had Lewis Cubal on his show. And he said, You know, I think it's so brave that you, uh, you know, what you do, and you bring so much attention to people out there who are suffering from this mental disease. <laughs> and he goes, Wanker! And he goes, fat cunt, get a proper job! <laughs> <laughs> he just tees it off and he just knocks oh, out of the park, doesn't he? just fucking amazing. Genius. So this is the first time you've set one of them things up? Yeah, it's probably broken. It's probably not working now. This security, you get a scotch can in your car and you just need to... It's, sure it's, it's just in case just, anything happens. Yeah. You know, so that when, when it goes to court... When the machete comes out of the bag, then you've... Yeah, yeah you've I've got, got a bit of evidence. Yeah, yeah. Of Let's check where my wallet is, yeah. Yeah. It's secure, it's secure. I had my first game of five aside last night, first time back this year, and fuck me. Who are you playing with? Davy Forbes? No, there's another group of lads on the Monday night. Like, the, the standard's quite high, it's sort of half of it, sort of. Some, some play a bit of youth football, and then there's other other guys that have been doing it since. Well, the game started in 88. So there's well, guys been The running. game started in 88. Yeah, there's guys been running this game week in, week out since 1988. And it starts at 9 pm. I mean, do they get a break ever or? It's just no, continue. they're just continuous playing since, since 1988. It's not even half time, yeah. It's still the first half. <laughs> <laughs> and I was brought in in the 60th minute. <laughs> yeah. When the score was 4,000. <laughs> nil. Yeah, nil. Yeah. It's a shot. What a shot, your legs. My legs are short. Yeah. Have you brought shit for uh, training? Yeah, no, I brought running shoes, shin pads, um, armor, crash helmet. <laughs> Massive dildo. So, what was your gig like in uh, Falkirk? Falkirk. Your homecoming gig. That was Falkirk, wasn't no, it? It's not Falkirk. Where was it? Stop the car. <laughs> Stop the fucking car. Get out! <laughs> no, that's that was uh, back in Orkney. Oh, of course it was, oh, yeah. How was it? Ridiculous. It was. Fantastic, mate. It was... Just wanted to tick off the list, to be honest. It's one that... I think that's an annual thing now, isn't it? Yeah, you need to do it on the 100%. Do you know what? I've never been so nervous for a gig in my whole entire career. Really? I'll tell you that. 100%. I think it's just people you've grown up with standing in front of you. You know, it's not... It's, yeah, you've got to really deliver. It's not fans. It's, it's, it's guys you've grown up with. Yeah. Guys and girls. Did any of your family come out as well? So we had mum and dad, sisters. They were all there? Well, they were there. Even my little sister, 10 year old sister, Eleanor, she was there. She, she, she hated it. She hated it? <laughs> she doesn't look at your hand, mate. Sorry, you didn't say, so how did you do it? I had this night out planned with quite a few of my friends back in Glasgow for pressure. You know? and, uh, I think it was Jeff Mills, Fitzpatrick. And, um, this was like the night out which was going to salvage the whole festivities for me. Like, yeah. The point. See, but what actually happened? How did you cut off your nerve? Was it? Yeah, that was like a broken nerve in, in my flat. Well, broken by you punching it, or yeah, you should see the nerve. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I, was 
that because you were unhappy with what you saw in the No, I, yeah. I thought I saw you, sort of, you, you looked deep into your soul. Deep and into, and I it was so dark. So dark. And then I saw John ask you for a second. And I just yeah. flipped out. Yeah. Oh, just give me that chance. One fucking punch. I said John, John ask you three times. Yeah. Cunt, cunt, cunt. Yeah. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, <laughs> Beetlejuice. <laughs> Shit, did I leave the fridge door open when I left? I wonder if would the food would actually get hot if the fridge door was left open. Or would it dunno? On the bounce it's automatically normalised it as well.
dream. I've always wanted to do a story track. Yeah, absolutely. But I think lyric, like the way the vocals work, the intonation, the way it's done, you almost. You remember that record I sent you, Lion Rock, Packet of Peace? We remember we were sending tracks back and forth to try and get a scope out. And that was a dream within a dream. Was that, was that ring a bell? It could be, yeah. A dream within a dream. Memory is fading quick, but I just need to start writing down my dreams. Okay, right. Am I reading this out? Yeah, go on, read it out. This is an email from you to me. This is me to you. <clears throat> Memory is fading quick with this. Need to start writing down my dreams. Or maybe best I don't. So it went something like this. Out all day working on odd jobs with this dodgy, dodgy as fuck mafia cowboy mop. Mainly replacing sinks, baths. Also shearing sheep. <laughs> Good start. Feeding sheep. Shearing. Shearing sheep. Shearing sheep. <laughs> as you do. Credit card was the only method of payment for some reason, ripping off cunts, making an absolute fortune out of it. And then we end up getting ready for a mad one. We hang it pretty hard as you do, pre-drinks, this and that, all the usual capers. Now it gets deeper and deeper, all the usual. And then I remember, <laughs> and I go into a trip and I remember I've ordered a gigantic dildo off the internet. I also remember my mum is coming to stay with me for a few nights, as you'll definitely know what's up. <laughs> As I arrived the day before in it, and two massive filled by six feet stainless steel pallets. Talk about trying to keep it discreet. Anyway, I'm panicking like fuck. This is this is a kind of dream that only Bill Atkinson could have. Yeah, I'm not even sure if this was a dream. That's probably happened. <laughs> End up back out into normality. Still dreaming though. I walk back into my house where my mum's waiting for me. Put the key in the door. Walk in. Wake up. Missed call from Marlborough. What sort of question is that? Couldn't give a fuck how your holiday was, mate. Am I doing sitting here listening to this? Stuck in Glasgow, shite weather. This flash cunt, swimming pools, fellas. Blah, blah, fucking blah. All you do is talk. Fuck me, me, me. We did this, family did that. Shut up. <sighs> Could go some sun, actually. Anywhere but this fucking car. with 
the shitload of people who are unemployed in this country. Yeah. Just get them out here speeding up this shit. No, can't do that. No, no the question. No, got to leave this to the slow workforce in road. I'm sure Corelli and are looking for a few jobs. Yeah, eight, nine miles of these fucking cones. And there's not been anything, there's nothing. And now we're down to 50 cocking miles an hour. But you can drive from the court shoulder legally, so that's quite a good buzz, isn't it? Yeah, really good if you break down. Yeah. You know, that's... Because that's your next port of call is the fucking embankment. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. Just get out of your car, leave it to be smashed up. <laughs> you go off into the woods. Oh, look, here <laughs> he is. What's he up to? Oh, He's just moving a few cones around. <laughs> smashed it. Do you want to wait worse experience in a motorway? You can guess. Do you want me to guess it? <laughs> the south thing is you're probably getting one. Were you in a car? Yeah. Right, okay. Um, go on, tell me. 2011. Did not get a word of that. It means an absolute blur. We just finished college. And it was a year of partying, basically. Just a year? Maybe 10 months, it's, the, it's, a, it's a black right, okay. void. Really. So what happened at the end of that year? Did the partying stop? Or yes, yeah, sort of temporarily. For a weekend. As I sorted my life out. Yeah. And then <laughs> continued to break it again. Yeah, about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we were another party. And, uh, Here we fucking go again. I mean, is there a single fucking story that he's got that doesn't involve getting smashed, partying? It's just relentless. And um, we'd uh, run out of supplies, drinks, of course. Drinks, yeah. And um, it was me, my ex at the time. And uh, I know it's on TV tonight. So maybe 40 miles outside Glasgow. Bit of a hectic night. It's just um, bullshit. <coughs> someone come in and 
Jesus, I could really, really do with a drink. Oh, right fuck me, I could murder a beer. Save it up. Right, let's get some food. Yeah.